Mother. 911, bro. All right, guys, welcome back. Bro, I'm back finally after, I don't know, six, seven, eight months. But I'm back and uh, better than ever. Hopefully, new year, new me. And I'm going to try to get to working on this hatch immediate. Mark hey. The keys to the no, yeah, who's in there? Hey. Ah, uh, mother. Fuck. No. No. Bro. Bro. Where's my phone at? Where's my phone? Where's my phone? Phone, 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 phone. Hold that. Hold that for me. Nine one one, bro. Hi, can I get directed to uh, here on PD? Yeah, hi. This is Marcos Martinez. I just got my car stolen. He just took off right now. Cut the camera. Cut the camera. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed that little skit that we did. It was me and Papa's mostly. Almer was there for support, but um, it was pretty fun. Did you like it, Papa's or not? It was cool driving the car. <laughs> We're going to go driving in the truck right now. You guys don't know what kind of truck it is. The Dodge Ram that we have parked outside my grandma's pad all the time. It's usually up there somewhere. And um, we're going to try to do some hood rat stuff real quick. You guys down? Yeah. All right, let's go. All right, so this was our, or he suggested, Papa suggested, let's get him all these leaves out of the trunk. And they want to go in the back for a little bit. And, well, you guys are both going to go or just down, or just you? They're both going to, I don't know if they're both going to go, but. Is that a rainbow back there? Did I see a rainbow? Tripping. But back here, there's like a little spot where I could do a little donut. So they kind of want to go on there, see what it's like. <laughs> get all those leaves. You guys ready? You guys gonna film from, from back here? Or? I don't know. Cause how am I in a whip it and you feel me? <laughs> you guys are gonna have to hold it, so they're gonna hold the camera back here. And um You ready Elmer? Yeah. If you guys fly out, that's on you guys, alright? <laughs> ready? He's already sliding. <laughs> yeah. You got one in my eye. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, la verga. <laughs> <See? laughs> Ready, one more. Watch out the middle. Hey, that one's cool. <laughs> Go. Look at this who has to be now. <laughs> He had a rug just underwear because he got super, super dirty back there. It stinks too, huh? Yeah. If you guys had smell of vision, you guys would be upset right now. It stinks. So, car actually, like in real life, got stolen. It didn't happen in that skit. That was just a little, like a little example of what could have happened. Like just to show you guys, like it did happen, but we just wanted to like um, reenact it a little bit. So that's what we did. Hope you guys enjoyed that skit. Now let's get into that backstory, bro. Want to give you guys like details of what happened the day of. So. Um, it was a Saturday morning. I don't know if the guy 
knew that the kids were not going to school so my kids go to school kindergarten and first grade i'm gonna make this try i'm gonna try to make this fast kindergarten and first grade <clears throat> my girl usually takes them to school she didn't take them to school that morning so i'm guessing um neighbor said from six o'clock she saw it because she goes to work like at six o'clock in the morning i don't know if he was like premeditated or what but anyway so by the time i noticed it was like 4 30 ish around there um told my girl get on the phone with 911 or with the police department right here from here on we did that um we got a little report with them and uh by then car was stupid gone so um um they didn't get any anything 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 no tips no hints no nothing from the 13th all the way to the 16th um it had me very very worried in the back of my mind and in the front of my mind i was like this thing is gone bro this thing is completely gone i had no hope for that car bro i had none 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 i just thought the car was gone i thought someone a honda junkie came by swooped it chopped it chopped it it was a wrap i thought everything was gone i got a call on the 16th from an officer out in uh, madera county oakers he found the car at the chuchansi casino and uh, he said he was running plates in the parking lot came across mine ran the plates um saw that it was stolen and he saw a guy that looked suspicious coming out of the casino or whatnot he had my steering wheel in his hand with them and the officer went to like try to i guess get him or get get the guy you know and uh <clears throat> guy threw the steering wheel in a bush and took off so they didn't get him um he hit me up that same night i went out the next day went to the towing yard towing yard told us to go to the sheriff oh uh, from the sheriff they told me hey you don't have a license so you got to find somebody that has a license so we could release the vehicle to you so no one else in the car had a license i had nothing i couldn't do anything so i, I hit up the cop and i was like hey he was a cool cop as, as well so shout out to him for being super super cool i hit him up i was like hey can i go just like hit up somebody from off the street and uh went out 30 minutes to an hour looking for somebody hit up so many people to try to help us and nobody bro finally came across this girl so thank god bro that she hooked it up and um she got in the car with us bro i don't know if anybody else would have got in the car with us there was four of us in the car it was me Charles, um her cousin and then almer in the back so yeah girl got in went out got the release with us Shout out to her. I'll probably never ever see her again in my life. She hooked it up so fat, man. Like, if it wasn't for her, I would have been stuck. She didn't have to do it. It was very, very sketchy for her to get in a car with three random strangers, four random strangers. Um, she still got in with us. And then they were making a big deal at the tow yard as well, bro. So, at the tow yard, they were asking who has a license. There had to be two people that were licensed. They didn't want to let us go, but I was like, hey, I'm going to take full um responsibility for anything that happens after this i'm gonna drive it home if i get caught up i get caught up and uh luckily was able to talk him in got the car looked inside and complete mess bro let's show you guys the back real quick this is how he had the back um he cut up my whole seat i don't know for what reason left this in here uh you see those boots right there took off the column there's more stuff under the seat let's go in here look at all the gunk that he had in here bro this is all his stuff all this stuff is his he had little gas tanks just to make sure um look he had fishing rods two of them he had a spare rim another tank back here so i think he was living in here because it's a toothbrush toothpaste um check it out he had sandals in here tape he had a bunch of stuff like mini lamps. Got a bunch of chips in here. Look, there's chips everywhere. Like he was eating uh, some munchies. But yeah, we're gonna get to cleaning this car. Yeah, we got the car in our possession. We gave the girl some money. It was super, super horrible. The drive home was disgusting, bro. I could not like, I couldn't wait to get home and wash my hands, bro. I couldn't wait, wait to like get to sanitizing the car, bro, because that's how filthy I felt. It was just super dirty, super grimy. It, it looked like he was living in here. Not much else to say, guys, besides thank God that the car is back in my possession. Minimal things were damaged and stolen, which is 
a plus, bro. It could have been way worse. I know I spent a lot, a lot of money, or a lot of money was lost, let's put it that way, in going to get the car, picking it up, bringing it back, and all the stuff that's that, that's gone from the, well, not gone from the car, because there's not so much gone, but the things that he did to the car. So, I'm gonna show you real quick. So, speakers are gone on both sides. Let me take off the steering wheel. Ignition is beat up. Um, this just slides up to lock the cylinder. And then you put your key in and it unlocks just like so. <clears throat> this goes in here just like that. And then with the key, you unlock this, of course. And then this turns in here. If you mess this up, just like it is, you could just pop this thing out just like he did. Get a screwdriver, anything. Check if this thing's in neutral. Look how easy that is, bro. See how easy it is to jack a Civic, bro? A Honda? Super, super easy. Even if Slim Jim is still in here, I'm going to keep it just for like further, for, for future um, circumstances. You never know. Yeah, bro. Super, super horrible experience. Never want to be in something like that again. So, starting today, never leave the steering wheel. If you have a quick release, never leave it in there, bro. Not worth it. Take the time to take it off. I was just being lazy. Um, I'm going to start working on the security of this car before I do anything else to it. I'm going to show you guys the rest of the damages. Alright, so he did scuff up this area here. So you guys can see he scuffed up all this right here. Um, scuffed up this area here as well. All the way down. Got a scratch right here. It broke my corner light right here so you guys can see I can grab the bulb come to the back and um, I didn't do the best job on the paint job but I know that he ended up hitting this bumper as well chipped the paint here and it's cracked everywhere hit it over here as well you guys can see all these spider webs here as well it is what it is I'm not mad at the guy I'm super appreciative of God bro that um, he let me get my car back in one piece it could have been a lot worse. With that being said, guys, that was the tea for today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure to like and subscribe. And uh, peace.